Hey everybody, and welcome back to a brand new episode of RoboCop, picking up right where we left off, just after the meeting in the briefing room. I know I mentioned this would be a Friday, Saturday episode deal, but I said, you know, I got a few episodes recorded for next week. I'll do a special Sunday episode of RoboCop. As always, if you're enjoying this, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below while we join our buddy Alex Murphy on his adventures in Detroit with RoboCop Rogue City. So please sit back, relax, grab your favorite beverage, grab your favorite snack, throw on your headphones, and let's get into the Robo action. All right, looks like it wants us to go downstairs to leave the precinct. Hmm. Ah, car. Ready for you, Robo. Go get nice. Do you want to leave the area? Yes. I just figured we were going to walk out of the building and be on, like, the motorcycle or something. Like the cartoon. I am really enjoying this game so far. Also, if you like this, uh, check out my other series, Alan Wake on Wicked Wednesday, Terrifying Thursday, Layers of Fear, which is seven days a week, and Monday through Friday, the Lego Marvel series. Which, if I beat all those games, because I think I only have a few chapters left in the main LEGO Marvel game, I might make this a five-day-a-week series and find something else for the weekends. Hell. That explains New Detroit. You came to clean up this city, didn't you? It'd be easier to burn it all to the ground. Believe me, just burn it all. All right, so does the name of one of the, that's the name of the bad guy. Uh, could you please keep the noise down? You're scaring off my customers. Can't hear you. Music's too loud. Intervene. Because, you know, my customers then they threaten to burn down my shop you need to do Oof. something about it officer what do you want cop can we have a little bit of fun we did nothing wrong the music is too loud my sound sensor measures 126 decibels you are damaging your ears as we speak. <laughs> oh man, don't talk to me like that. I don't understand numbers. <laughs> what? Your volume control seems to be broken. Leave it! That's brand new! I've only stole. <laughs> well. Thanks, officer. To be fair, did give them a choice to turn the music down. Before I chose option B. It's getting colder. Now 
but we don't have anything for the fire. Uh, how was I supposed to know someone would steal our old tires? That's carcinogenic. Hey, Robo, can you help me out here? Be a man, pig. Why make such a big deal? Kowalski. How can I assist you, officer? I'm trying to catch this one shifty dealer. This guy steals nuke from other pushers to sell it at half price. This dope head buys from him but won't tell me his whereabouts. I don't know any dealer. You were carrying for three different pushers, so you either like to walk for miles to buy nuke, or you appreciate a discount. Don't take it out on me, because the guy broke your nose? As you can see, he doesn't want to cooperate. Allowing dealers to steal from each other may result in less drugs on the street. What? That would suck. You need to stop him then. The guy's name's Maurice, but I don't know where to find him. I always arrange a place over a payphone. I'll give you the number. Let's hope it works. The dealer knows where the others hide their stash. We could collect nuke from the whole neighborhood if we get to him. I will take care of it. But you need to find a payphone first. Try near the supermarket. I think at least one of them hasn't been snatched by vandals yet. Okay, so... Uh, objectives. I kind of want to go with the second... Uh, or the discount dealer right now. I know, you know, main storyline and everything is important, but also... Nice shiny armor, officer. Want to be my knight? Project Doom. Ah. What? Is this Maurice? Listen, man, I'm really swamped with the laundry right now, so make it quick. So you would not want to earn some money, would you? I don't! I mean, I do. I do want to earn money. But wait. Your voice. You sound like... A future happy customer. Fucking Robocop! You want to bust me? Why don't you do a better job of finding guys who vandalize phone boots? I'm losing customers because they can't find working payphone in this goddamn... What the fuck is it this time? Well... Don't hide, Maurice. Just a friendly visit. You'd like to do laundry? You should try working at the laundromat instead of violating the basic rules. Okay. Robocop, you have to help me! The back of the red building by the supermarket! Apartment 6! There's some guys here! I think they mean business! Hurry! He's on the phone! Oh, I'm telling you, officer. Dumpsters are like a bag of candies. I mean, I know the Sarge told me to go to the arcade. But getting Nuke off the streets in mass might make him happy as well. At least, I hope it makes him happy. Because that is my goal. Protect the civilians, or the citizens, and make sure that the Sarge doesn't. I hear a 
start shooting again. Make sure the kids hide under the bed. Oh no. Psychoactive substance found. More nuke. Was it? Oh, more nuke. Dude, how much? Why would you store that in your own apartment? Knowing that your dealers, these dealers are going with your head. We should investigate the rest of the apartment. Maurice, I'm writing you because I know your phone's always busy, but after what you did, I wouldn't want to be seen with you anyway. Sip wouldn't mind you stealing nuke for those three, from those three morons if he got his cut. He gave you... The last chance to pay him off, but you screwed it. Now it's too late, so you better change your address. I can assure you that your excuses won't work with the torch heads. They're crazy. Maurice's laundry schedule. More nuke. I have a feeling this guy was using his own supply. Signs of forced entry. Yeah, Maurice, maybe if you uh, took calls from cell phones, yeah, they're traceable, but also, you get the added bonus of uh, anonymity if you use a burner. Saves you hassle, saves your customers hassle. Listen, guys. I'll never touch your stuff again, I swear. That's not why we're here. So what do you want? The money? I have your money. You only have half of it, and that's the problem. You're selling our product at half price. That makes my customers complain about my prices. It ain't nice, Maurice. Maybe you think that building a customer base by selling your product under its manufacturing costs is a good idea. Under what? But it's not. Such practices are spoiling the market. It's been proven time and time again that such action leads to a reduction of future demand, yours included. Antitrust laws are there for a reason. Shit, Maurice. All we want to say is that you violate the basic rules of the market with your predatory pricing. We can't just go along with that. It's unfair and unethical. Not to mention illegal. What the fuck? You are under arrest. Come quietly, or this may be the last economics discussion you will ever have. Get him! I mean, that was their answer? Economics discussion? 
What am I gonna sell now? There are serious charges against you, Bruce. <laughs> However, you can hope for a reduced sentence if you reveal where these three dealers keep their drugs. Or I can jump into that pile of garbage below. A few bruises is better than jail. Do you know what the likelihood is of surviving that? I know the hood better than you do, cop. So try some different talk. Or I'll jump. Even if you escape, so does how to get you. You will be safer in prison. I missed our meeting. I was busy, but he doesn't get that. Doing laundry is important to me. <laughs> it relaxes me. If you cooperate, you can get a job at the prison laundry. You mean I eat and live for free? And I do what I like to do anyway? I, I, I feel like I won the lottery, man! I'll tell you where these jerks kept the stuff, but I have to have our deal in writing. Good thing Maurice decided to cooperate. And I found that clue. Did that cop just run over a person? Drew a gun. Ask me for money. Only a moron steals from a beggar. That's what I said. But then he started shooting. Oh, I thought there'd be another uh, Okay. Police work. Confiscate stolen items and crime evidence. Okay. Just want to check if I have anything I can upgrade with. Uh, the upgrades I will do at the end of an episode. At least it ain't raining. Whether that be a Friday episode or not really sure. Might be an episode just like this for like a Sunday release where I just wait until a Sunday release episode to do my upgrades. And because of my recording schedule, typically, if you do add a comment, uh, I will Crap. see the comment, but it might money, be a few days before I respond. Don't you cops ever get bored with harassing successful entrepreneurs? Hey, this shit is rigged. That's a serious accusation, kiddo. Someone might think I would allow such illegal activity in my high-class business. Which I do not. I get lost. You work for Soot. Tell me where to find him. You cops are giving me a stomach ulcer. Stop asking me about guys I don't know. Withholding information can lead to bigger trouble than a stomach ulcer. Look, I'm a busy man, so I'm going back to my office now. Why don't you join me there, and we'll talk. Oh, on second thought, oh. you can't do that because you don't have a warrant. I I figured he's gonna pull the warrant card. What a douchebag! Well, now I'm just gonna have to investigate things within the open. Have you witnessed the owner participating in any criminal activity? Are you kidding me? 
Half the things I've seen around here would be enough to put him behind bars for a decade. Let us hear your statement. No way, dude. He might be a douchebag, but if you lock him up, this place will get closed down, and where am I supposed to play hooky then? School may seem now like a different option, but it will pay off in the future. Mm -hmm. Future? Look on the street. You must have a microwave for a brain if you think that. Uh. Expelled gastric content, irrelevant to the case. Okay. I do like that you can find stuff that's irrelevant to the case. I'm still going to poke around, because what if there is something relevant to the case? Bloodshot eyes caused by sleep deprivation, irrelevant to the case. Syringe's traces of hinge lubricant, irrelevant to the case, okay, but still, syringe. Let's see what's back here. Soot, my business partner. Recently, your men started to act, shall we say, unusually. They're questioning each other about what is to be a true torch head, like they're looking for a snitch, but there can't be one in such a thoughtfully managed criminal enterprise as yours. They're probably wondering why no cop came knocking after your live show, which is by the way, which by the way was truly great TV. They should know that the cops are afraid of you. Jostling among yourselves is bad for business. Maybe you could have a word with them just to keep. Those productive juices flowing. Your humble partner. I thought there might have been a clue around that was indeed relevant to the case. He just hit it in the back room where he would think nobody would check. Come back with a warrant, cop. Investigate objects or people. And we're looking at a question mark to investigate them. I didn't know you had such amazing colors. And there's not one but two of you? From now on, I promise, I will cheer it. Your body readings suggest substance misuse. <sighs> oh man, a real like TJ laser? You are so incredibly shiny. I'm definitely getting more of this stuff. Who sold you drugs? I really shouldn't say, but you are my TV hero, so. All right, all right. Uh, all of the arcade staff will sell to you. As long as you got cash. Unfortunately, I'm broke. But I have a great idea. 
You, you could help me sneak into the basement to keep a huge stash of goodies down there. Oh, kid. Don't in the basement? I will take care of that. Would you really do that for me? Way to go, <laughs> TJ! Oh, she just, she just, is that the ocean? Just like how quick that was. It'd be great. I love arcades. It'd be great if, uh, Well, A, I live near an actual arcade, and B, you could play some of the games. Open the door. I have the warrant. Oopsie. I think I dropped my key somewhere. You'd have to break down this hardened door if you want to get in. That will not be a problem. Oof. Dude went flying. I, I think he might be dead. <laughs> it's Robocop! Surrender your weapons. Right now, I wonder about the OCPS shotgun. In case I have to get close again, Let's see if there's any more evidence around here. You don't look so good, buddy. Micro SMG, micro SMG. Say nuke or get lost. Tell the buyers to stop using made-up names for nuke. None of this double cheese, onion, hot sauce, body bags, and red fucking whatever. It's only my guy makes my guys confused and that's bad for business. Pigs can't do shit, so there's no need to speak in code. These dope heads are the buy nuke or jack all. Love your super stardom boss S. These guys are just poster boys. Chair, chair. Chair, chair. Battleship.
Okay. Uh, well, I guess I eliminated all the threats and found everything in here. Open the door, or you will regret it. Can't, can't a guy just sell drugs to kids without you harassing him every five minutes? Who, who am I hurting, huh? They all want it. Where do I find soot? Well, if that's the case, shut it, bozo! Unless you want to end up in the ghost house like that cop's informant! And don't you dare open that door, I'll shoot you! One of you is not a real Torchhead, but just an imitator. I knew there was something off about you! Me, it's you! I always suspected you never went through initiation. Take that back! Or what? Shit, you hot-headed bastards! For fuck's sake, don't shoot! I'm gonna open the door! <laughs> I mean, I did not expect to play out that way at first. Tell me, where can I find Soot? Straight to business, huh? Looks like you're my type of guy. But even if I wanted to help you, I can't. Only his closest people know his whereabouts. I just distribute his stuff, and to be completely honest, I don't want or need to know more than when the next shipment is coming. You must know the location they mentioned. Tell me where they took the police informant. And if I tell you, what's in it for me? You could get your sentence reduced if you cooperate. Yeah, shortened sentence seems. Yeah, but if word gets to Soot, he won't do business with me again. Once I am done with him, he will not be doing business with anyone. <laughs> That's a good point. I think we've got a deal. If they've taken him to the ghost house, it's what they call one of their sites. From what I've gathered, it's that big, burned-down building a bit down the road. Anyway, that's all I know. That will have to suffice for now. <laughs> I'll use recovery charge, why not? $62 desk button, X180, $2,340 armored gate, $580, and $580 installation. Security Innovations Code. Oh, a safe. Engineering level 6. Two, three, four, five, six. I think I'll take one level in engineering. I guess I was going to do this at the end of the levels. I wonder if I could talk to him again. Or if I can come back here. Probably in a new game plus. Stay here. Dispatch. Requesting a squad car. And once I return to the streets, that's where we're going to wrap this episode, I think. It's doing the auto save. 
load feature right now. Do hope everyone had a good Veterans Day, my fellow vets included. And I hope everyone has had a good weekend so far. Uh, tomorrow we're picking back up with our normal schedule of videos. A new Lego Marvel and a new Layers of Fear. And we'll also uh, be coming back with Wicked Wednesday, Terrifying Thursday, back-to-back -back Alan Wakes, Wednesday and Thursday. Next Friday, we will have another RoboCop. And that's going to be in our next episode, everyone. We're going to pick up by looking for that vehicle. If you did enjoy this, please leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. Share with your friends on social media. Let them know what you think. You know, help me grow, help the channel grow. When we hit 200 subs, we are going to be doing a giveaway. And as always, thank you once again for watching. I've been your host, Callan Hale. If you... Oh, forgot my own ending. Please make sure to hydrate. Medicaid if you have to. Eat some good food. Be kind to yourselves. Be kind to each other. And don't let your dreams just be dreams. Make your dreams a reality. Until the next episode of RoboCop, with my boy Alex Murphy, this is Kellen Hale, signing off.